Memorial Day observances happened around the Bay Area today, of course, to honor the memory of the people who died while serving their country. In Walnut Creek, people gathered for a ceremony centered on the gazebo with that red, white, and blue bunting. A U.S. Army captain delivered a keynote address. He read the names of 11 comrades lost in Afghanistan in 2011 and asked for a moment of silence. Then he shared a few stories about their courage and sacrifice. I cannot go into the specifics for all 11 soldiers and names I've read, but there are, there are a couple lessons and specific examples I do want to talk about today. And that is what Second Lieutenant Clovis Ray did. He died saving his men from fire, being out front so they didn't have to be. This morning's ceremony also included music from the Walnut Creek Concert Band. And dozens turned out this morning at Madronia Cemetery. The Saratoga Foothill Club has been holding an event there for more than 80 years to honor local veterans and current members of the armed forces. And following decades of tradition, San Francisco's Presidio held its own Memorial Day observance. KPI X5's John Ramos was there as speakers and attendees recognized the human costs of war. If the country's worth living for, it's worth fighting for. There is a tradition at the Memorial Day service at the National Cemetery in San Francisco. Guests are asked to march a short distance to the ceremony grounds. It's a small gesture to honor those here who gave so much more. They paid the ultimate price for our freedom. And I'm here also to show my, as a veteran, I also show my gratitude here. There were familiar symbols, the color guard, a flyover, an empty helmet. But at this place, which for so long has displayed the terrible cost of war, there was also an acknowledgement of the price paid by those back home. The empty bed, the empty room, silence that echoes down the years, the eternal ache in the heart. But not all those who died remained silent. Major Joshua Mance was shot and killed by a sniper in Baghdad in 2007, only to be revived some 15 minutes later. He says he's lived with the guilt of surviving when his buddies did not. Monuments and memorials are a great way to remember those who came before us. But the most powerful way to honor their sacrifice is by allowing their spirit to live through us each and every day. He says we civilians have a responsibility to create a community that represents true freedom. And in doing so, we will begin to earn what it took to give us that chance. In San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX 5.